Hey everybody, my name is Nicholas Walker, and I've decided to do prompt one in the fourth genetic exam video. So what we're looking at is a model of replication in prokaryotes in which we see that it goes from a double-stranded state into a replication center in which they're broken down into single strands and then goes back to double-stranded. So the first thing that we want to look at is the DNA helicase, which is this yellow structure on both sides. And this serves the purpose of breaking the hydrogen bonds that hold the two DNA strands together. And then this also leads us to the green tacks, which are the single-stranded binding proteins and which help maintain the DNA in the single-stranded state. Um, in other words, preventing it from going back into the double-stranded. So then we wanna look at the blue structures on, bl on both ends, which is the DNA gyrase, which helps reduce tensional strain. Um, and also relieve supercooling. Um, so the next thing that we want to look at is the DNA primase, which is this silver structure on both sides in front of the DNA helicase. Um, and then this helps in um, synthesizing short RNA primers to allow DNA synthesis to begin. Um, and then this helps lead to um, this structure, which the quarters represent the DNA polymerase 3, which starts at the third prime OH group in the last RNA nucleotide on the primer. And as we see, the DNA polymerase helps in generating the DNA synthesis um, and helps us in determining that this would be the leading strand because of the continuous um, synthesis and then the bottom would be considered the lagging strain because of the discontinuous um, synthesis. So in, o in other words, as we see the short strands, um, the fragment strands, these would be considered the Okasaki fragments, which are produced by the lagging strand. Um, and then this would also, even though this is not on the model, this penny would represent the DNA polymerase one which helps cutting out the DNA ahead of it. So in other words, the DNA, DNA polymerase one replaces the RNA nucleotides with the DNA nucleotides. And then this helps lead to the DNA ligase, which is this dime. And this helps in sealing the nicks between the DNA added by the polymerase three without adding another nucleotide. So then we wanna look at well, what would happen if the DNA polymerase 1 will not function properly in the 5-3 direction of the X nuclease? And in, other, in simple terms, what would happen is there would be a loss ability of synthesis DNA in the gaps created by the removal of the DNA primers.